அவர்களுடைய நம்பிக்கை முழுமையான அமைப்புல நிலைநாட்டக்கூடியவர்கள் அதிகமான <laughs> மதீனால மேல ஒரு கொஞ்சம் நானும் நீங்களும் எதுவரை காட்டி அடையோ நண்பர்களுக்கு <laughs> வருடங்கள் தொழிலுடைய <laughs> நேரத்தில் <laughs> at the time of her demise aisha bint imran al manubi rahmatullah alayha she recited she recited the quran verse in the quran ude vaartha inna allaha ma'al ladina taqaw wal ladina hum muhsinun 
Soon as she recited this verse, she passed away. And it is mentioned in the history that Aisha bin Qadimran and Manubi Rahmatullahi Alayha have completed 1520 Quran at the house. 1520 Qurans. Now think, me and you, in this Ramadan, how many Quran we have completed? Abdullah ibn Idris Rahmatullahi Alayhi, at the time of his demise, when he was passing away, his daughter, she was crying. The main reason why I have recited 4,000 Quran is to prepare for my mouth. So there is no need to cry, my dear daughter. No need to cry. Andalo Quran or the Kudir Lala. Enakum Ulakum or Juzu or the other, Rupor or the other, Aina or the other, Hisbo or the other, Odra or the Pina, the Tulu or the Illa, and a way for Muttaki or Tapua Dana, the Adealam or the Ibada to the Rusi. Pavat to every Rusi Rikido. Pavatilla, Rusi Rikidan say, Rabul Alami, Pavatilla, Rusi Vichida Rikida. Almighty Allah is wisdom. Allah has kept a taste even in sin. Even in sinful activities, there is a sin. That's why one of the elders used to say, Yamana, Marasiatame, Mujrimana, Todiladatahe. Yamana, we accept, we accept that even in sinful activities, in sins, there is some sort of a what a taste. It, there is a taste in that. Magar Usupalane Valekiye Kesi Bhavat hai. Anna Pavam say a puri on any mandada, the pawam say a puri and the Allah with the martyrs in the puri. O Sina, you do not forget. While you are sinning, you are using the limbs, the ni'mat, the bounties which Almighty Allah have granted you, and you are going against Almighty Allah. Darasi der ki laddak hamesha ki nadamat hai. For a temporary taste ka avendi. For a temporary pleasure, you are sinning in front of Almighty Allah. Don't forget that it's going to be, a, you are going to regret yourself forever. You are going to regret yourself forever. For a temporary inbat ka avendi pavat se irai. Nirandara maan kaise da tulani vilani. Nirandara maan kaise. Ganyatukuriya Sahodar Gale Nanbar Gale In a way, Pavatthil Allah Akku Subhana Nuhatal Oru Rusi Ondi Vecchi Dhan Dile Rendu Kheer Ilda Two Patients Both of them had some sort of a rash in their hands Both of them went to the doctor The doctor gave some ointment, some medicine But it's really, really hard to apply It's always itching, he wants to crash Scratch for both of the patients, the medicine was given. The first patient, he used to, with all the difficulties, he used to apply the ointment, and when it's itching, he, he, he never, never, never did scratch. He was very patient, it was very tough for him. After two months, he is going near the doctor, and the other patient, he stopped the ointment. Since it's itching, slowly he started to scratch, and while scratching, you know, some people who has rashes, they forget themselves and keep on scratching. They close their eyes and they are in another world by scratching. You have seen them. So what happened after two months, both are going to the doctor. Render care and doctor get the Quran. First patient about the doctor is telling, MashaAllah, there is nothing to worry. This infection has not gone inside. So hereafter, no need to use the medicine. You will be cured, inshallah. But the other patient, to see the doctor was surprised, what happened? You didn't use the medicine? No, doctor, it was very itching, but I keep on scratching. Finally, doctor said, unfortunately, this infection has gone inside. You had some temporary pressure while scratching, but unfortunately, now we have to amputate your hand from here. You have to cut off your hand from here. Otherwise, that virus or that infection might go to your entire body. Temporary pleasure, he was keep on scratching about eternal regression. What's the point? Temporary impatika, I mean, it's only one in the permanent. 
in the same manner while singing, while looking at beautiful girls, while looking at pornography, while taking some interest, while lying, there might be a pleasure, but it is temporary. It is temporary. Anyway, now nafs This nafs, it always wants the pleasure. That's the nature of the nafs. But what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you crush the nafs, the meaning of taqwa is controlling your desires. Kaffun nafsi anil hawa. Controlling your desires from the evil, uh, uh, controlling your uh, 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 evil desires. So that's the meaning of taqwa. So my dear respected brothers and elders, whoever controls his evil desire, what happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala converts this pleasure into the pleasure of ibadah. <coughs> now he has a pleasure. He has pleasure. He has interest. He has tranquility. We are in sujood, in rukur. That's why in a hadith of Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Anadru sahamun min sihami ibalis masmu. Whoever protects his gaze from evil things, from haram gazers, from haram sights, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will, I will replace that. I will replace that by giving him Iman and he will feel the taste of that Iman in his pulp. So my dear respected brothers and elders, while looking at a beautiful girl, there is a pleasure, but who controls his gaze, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the Iman and the taste of Iman is given. And in the hadith, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ يَنْدُرُ إِلَى مَحَاسِنِ مَرَأَةٍ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ ثُمَّ يَبُدُّ بَصَرًا إِلَّا أَحْدَثَ اللَّهُ عِبَادَةً يَجِدُ حَلَابَتَهَا For a Muslim would have a power, for a Allah and a friend in me the Padod, a Muslim looks at a woman, a beautiful woman, but since it is haram, he lowers his gaze. Hadith says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him the opportunity to do a new ibadah and Allah will give the taste of ibadah until his death. And the ulama they explain, if a person keep on gaining the pleasure in a haram way, Allah will remove the ibadah which he was doing and Allah will give the hatred of that particular ibadah in his heart. So nowadays for the youngsters if we say, can you do zikr for 10 minutes? Zikr? 10 minutes? How was it? It's very difficult now. The reason behind that is we are into haram, so our pleasure is there. But if we keep on controlling our nafs and develop our ruh, definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us the tranquility. But at the same time, my main focus is not Hukukullah. In Ramadan, my dear respected brothers and elders, it's very much important for us to focus on Hukukul Ibad also. Because in the entire Sharia, the ulama they used to say the Hukukullah is only nearly maximum 10%, 20%, or 20%, not more than that. But the rules and regulations related to Hukukul Ibad, Hukukul Ibad would have suffered the Patta Saktangal in the day, it is 80% of the Sharia. So 20% Hukukul Ibad, 80% Hukukul Ibad. Adu Suti Aamu Kirman Rumishiyam Dhan, Ulamatila Walakku Yengaratila, Adikta Vardhila Kaseya Vindiya Kadamayigal Dhan, Lam Rumba Kamanam Siddhatila Dhan, Adila Ejinda Vindamana Korapada Vindiya Amirikita Dhan Aamu. And especially when it comes to youngsters, not only youngsters, even we also, it's very much important in an appearance in a Vishyatra Kavanam Sir. Once Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi saw Jannah in his dream. Sorkata Kaanu Lamanda. Adala Quran Mudra Sattva Mundi Ketch. Quran Mudra Sattva. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he heard somebody is reciting the Quran in Jannah. So it was said that it is Harith ibn Nu'man Radiyallahu Anhu. Harith ibn Nu'man. 
Prophet ﷺ inquired Harisa, and I saw you reciting the Quran in Jannah in my dream. What special amal you have? He didn't say that in Tahajjud I used to complete one juzu, in Dhuhr I used to complete another juzu, in Qiyamul Layl I used to complete another four juzu. All these are with my Quran. Oh Ya Rasulullah, that's the reason why I was reciting Quran in Jannah. No, no. He said, Ya Rasulullah, my mother is very old. And Umma Sariyana was. I used to oil her leg. I used to massage her leg and massage her head. And whenever my mother speaks, since she is in her old age, if she tells something and if it doesn't fall to my ear, I never say, beg your pardon, Umma, can you please repeat it again? No, I come outside and I ask others, what did my mother say? Because for me, asking a mother, giving that sort of a trouble is also against other, against good etiquette. Just imagine. That's the reason, Ya Rasulullah, why you saw me reciting the Quran in Jannah. Not because of Quran in this earth, because I used to do khidmat for my mother. I used to do service for my mother. ஒருத்தர்ஸ் முடிவு <laughs> ஒருத்தரை <laughs> about allah's responsibility allah said very short and sweet wa qala rabbuka alla ta'budu illa iyya bas that's all but when it comes to parents allah is giving a very lengthy description this is the way how you should behave with your parents with me okay it's me and you i might forgive you but with your parents be serious unless otherwise they forgive you i will never never forgive you and how to ask dua for your parents how to speak with your parents how humble you should be in front of parents everything is explained in the quran so my dear respected brothers and elders if you know neela ma avan avan da kadame sollaanga umma da kadame sollaanga papa da kadame sollaanga anyway nanu neengalum andha vishayathil indha ramadan la because in a hadith the hadith is laif it is a little bit big but the ulama says it is related to fadail virtues ulama say that it is permissible to uh, 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 explain this hadith in laylatul qadr allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive to four please, please, uh, people each and every one we are seeking laylatul qadr in these days is it laylatul qadr allah should forgive me everything but in a hadith it is mentioned after laylatul qadr Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inquired Jibreel alayhi salatu wa sallam O oh, Jibreel, how did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be kind towards the ummah? Jibreel alayhi salatu wa sallam said, Allah forgave all the people, millions of people, but four people, no, no forgiveness in the night of Laylatul Qadr. So when Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the sahaba inquired, Ya Ali Rasulullah, who are those four? First, Mudhuminu Khamrin, the one who is not ready to do tawba from intoxicants. Intoxicants, drugs, all these things, haram. In Laylatul Qadr, if you are not ready to do tawba for this particular sin, I am not going to forgive you even in Laylatul Qadr. And the second one, Akun Libali Day, whoever is disobedient to their parents. Even in Laylatul Qadr, you might cry for hours. But if your parents are not pleased with you, would Umma Wapa, O Lord, 
இறக்கம் இல்ல ஏண்ட மகன் இப்படி இருக்கிறானே ஏண்ட மகன் இப்படி இருக்கிறானே என்னைய நோவிக்கிறானே இந்த லைலத்து பத்ர அல்லாஹ் லேவா லேவா ஃபபி so before coming to the musalla before coming to the saf before coming to qiyam al lail go to your parents oh mama oh papa please forgive me if you do not forgive me even in lail to the allah is not going to forgive so my dear respected brothers and the third person or the ibrahim who ever severe his relationship with the family we might be very religious it's easy to pray throughout the night but my dear respected brothers a person who is blaming us a person who is coming against us it's really difficult to forgive for forget and forgo and be related to him so it's very much important even in laylatul qadr what ibn mas'ud radiyallahu anhu came to a gathering and he narrated the hadith la tanzilu la tanzilu ar-rahma ala qaumin fi hibati wa rahimin allah rahma mercy will this dis- will not descend to a town will not descend to a group in which in that particular group if there is a person who doesn't have good relationship with his family because of that particular person the entire gathering will be void from allah's mercy so when this hadith was narrated a youngster from the madinis he stood up and he went up after a while he came and he told us khud radi allah man in fact hey Youngster, where did you go? No, you narrated a hadith that if a person who has a problem with his family, the Allah's mercy will not come to that gathering. I had a problem with my auntie, so I went, I settled with her, I received forgiveness and came and sent. My dear respected brothers and elders, now we are all here to come to the world. Auntie would go, Nana would go, Hayati would go, Mouth would go, Allah 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 would go, அதை முடிச்சுட்டு வாங்க இல்லாட்டி வராமையங்க உங்ககிட்ட முசீமத் இருக்கிறது உங்களுக்கு எத்தனைக்கு மாட்டிக்கிட்டு தான் செய்யும் ஏன் எங்களுக்கு அடுத்த மக்கள் மாட்டிக்கல பிரபு ஆலமின் எதிர்பார்க்க தெரியுது தான் ஒரு நாள் மஜ்லிஸ் ரசூல் சல்லாம் வலிம் சல்லாம் அவங்க இருக்கிறாங்க சொன்னாங்க wiping his face after wudu wiping his hands keeping his slippers in the hand so the second day prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the same thing if you want to see a jannati a person will come the same person the same way the third day same person same way now the sahabi about whom i narrated with regard to hukukul imam hukukullah who is that sahabi abdullah ibn amr ibn al as who used to recite one quran per day who used to do qiyam al lail entire night and who used to fast each and every day he saw he was a young sahabi he thought that oh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that he is a jannati aur dorga wa jannati sunna i want to go and see his amal whether he is doing something more than me how come he can do more than you please think entire night qiyam al lail every day fasting and every day one quran and he goes and says i had a problem with my father I thought of not going to the home for three days. Can you accommodate me for three days? He said that, yes, no problem, yes, that's all. So entire night without sleeping, Abdullah radiallahu anhu is seen, observing what amal he is doing. He said, wallahi, he didn't even wake up for the hajjul, only after adhan of fajr he got up. Five times prayers, other than that, entire three days I didn't see any sort of good amal here. Not that much. So to a level, I felt bad about him. I feared, oh, what am I thinking about him? Prophet said that he is a jannati, I am not thinking wrong about him. Other than five times prayers, I have not seen anything. <laughs> so finally, while going, Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Allah said, I am leaving. He said, that, Why? what made you to come? He said, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, three days testified that you are a jannati. I came to see your amal, but I didn't see anything special. Do you have any special amal? And he was also confused. He said, "Wama wa illa ma raaita." Whatever you saw, that's me. I do not have anything else. We get a party, we have a dance, we get to drink. Nothing we don't do. We do. When Abdullah Rabbi Allah Taala was leaving, he said, "But, Raida and me, but, but." 
ولكن غير اني لا اجد في نفسي غشا لاحد من المسلمين but i want to tell you something i want to tell you something in my heart i do not have any sort of grudge any sort of malice any sort of jealousy any sort of hatred any sort of against about any person in this At that time, Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As said, هَذِهِ الَّذِي بَلَحْتَ بِهِ This is the amal which made you to reach Jannah. وَهِيَ الَّذِي لَعْنَتِي And this is the one which is impossible for us. I can recite Quran a day. I can do Qiyamun Layl entire night. I can fast each and every day. But to maintain a heart in a manner where no jealousy, no malice, no fight, nothing about anybody, this is really tough and this is the amal which made you to enter Jannah. So my dear respected brothers and elders, we have to see in the heart with whom we have problems, go, forgive. It might be his problem, forgive him. If it's our problem, seek forgiveness. This is the month of Ramadan and this is what Allah is expecting from us. Ida dan Allah ku subhanahu wa ta'ala verum netikar kakati kuluradu padakama kota utu tu kuluradu malda ada vida aha mukir man kavishinda makkaloda send the makkala manichi makkaloda send the poor the hile or a husband alahana akla order or a wife alahana akla order pulle loda alahana amipula ida aha mukir man mani vi margalam kanwar margaloda erakamaha avana do ava kuria mani vi margalaha ada kanwar margalam ரொம்ப கைண்டான ரொம்ப இரக்கம் உள்ள ஹஸ்பண்ட் மார்களாக ஒய்ஃப் செல்லோனும் கேண்ட ஹஸ்பண்ட் அவர் என்ற சீதேவிதா ஹஸ்பண்ட் செல்லோனும் கேண்ட ஒய்ஃப் கேண்ட எல்லா தேவைகளை பூர்த்தி ஆக்கலாம் இந்த ரெண்டு பேரும் செல்லோனும் எங்களுக்கு உள்ளே அண்ட் ஸ்பெஷலி மை டியர் ரெஸ்பெக்டட் பிரதர்ஸ் அண்ட் எல்டர்ஸ் वी शुड ஃபோகஸ் ஆன் आवर சில்ட்ரன் ஆல்சோ புள்ளே தவறுகள் செய்ய தான் செய்வாங்க அதுல தவறு செய்யாம இருக்குது ஒரு கஷ்டமான விஷயம் ஆனா உம்மா வாப்பா என்ற வரக்கூடிய நேரத்துல ஆஹ முக்கியமான ஒரு விஷயம் தான் இந்த புள்ளேளுடைய விஷயத்துல அதிகமாக துவா கேக்குறது நாங்க அவர்களுக்கு ஒரு ரோல் மாடல் ஆக இருக்கு தி மெயின் ரீசன் வை ஆர் चिल्ड्रन கோ எஸ்ட்ரே தி மௌலானா சன் தி ட்ரஸ்டி சன் தி டாடி சன் தி பயஸ் पर्सन சன் इवन தோஸ் चिल्ड्रन தே கோ எஸ்ட்ரே ஒன் ஆஃப் தி மெயின் ரீசன் இஸ் பேட் கம்பேனியன்ஷிப் பேட் கம்பேனியன்ஷிப் so due to this bad companionship even good children they go to the wrong path after becoming a hafiz after becoming a alim after graduating as a doctor engineer but still bad relationship bad friends it will take you away that's why imam al ghazali rahimahullah in his kitab bidayatul hidayah he used to say he say that islam is a comprehensive religion islam ur paripurna mana markam ella vishayathe engalukku padichidande how to speak how to laugh how to cry how to enter the toilet how to come out of the toilet how to get married each and everything is taught and now the question is how to search for a friend it is also taught in islam in bidayatul hidayah imam al ghazali rahimahullah used to say you have to see you have to you have to go through five criteria to choose a friend the first criteria is first criteria is deenul lawal anfa look into the deen anjinelam kalura amalo delikira ibadato delikira this is the first screening the second screening is good akhla good qualities umma or the santa wa or the santa having some language the guy doesn't have good qualities don't take him as your friend and number 3 major sins he is involved is addicted to major sins don't take him as your friend because day by day the gravity of that sin will be diminishing in your heart today you will tell <coughs> pornography is haram and don't see okay okay you don't see i will see but tomorrow day by day the gravity will come down and one day you will also fall to the same sin and the fourth thing is hubb dunya a, 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 a lover of dunya don't take him as your friend because all the time when you meet a new sport has come up huh? a new mobile has come a new laptop was get all the time dunya 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 this mohabbat of dunya will be inculcated in your mind and the fifth criteria is don't take a friend who is a liar even as in a, even as a joke because hadith says wailun lima yuhaddisu wa yakhdibu wa yuhibu bihi alqauma wa wailun lahu wa wailun lahu a person who lies to make the other people laugh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said woe be to that person curse be to that person 
So a person who is lying to make the people laugh, not only the friends, the guys, they used to do it. Prophet said, no, it is a person who is cursed. So Imam al-Ghazali says, look into these five criteria. If a person pass from these five criteria, take him as your friend. And it's a bound, it's a ni'mat for you to take a person of this nature as a friend because that person will change your entire life. And in a hadith, Prophet said, if you see a person, a good person, and you want to be a friend of him, go and tell him directly, I love you for the sake of Almighty Allah. And the answer from him, Prophet taught, for which Almighty Allah, you are loving me. May that Allah love you also. So this is the way how to maintain a good friendship, good companionship. We'll be sincere. Have we ever got a friend of this nature? Have we ever got God and tell? We know the dua of toilet, lavatory. We know the dua of masjid. We know the dua of yatika. We know the dua of ruku sujud. But to have a good companionship, have we ever chosen a friend of this nature and uttered this sunnah? So my dear respected brothers and elders, it's very much important. It's very much important. Otherwise, if we fall into the wrong hands, the Muttaqin's children, the Alim Sab's children, the trustee's children, the Da'i's children, if they have wrong companionship, they will go astray. So parents should be very conscious on this thing, whether their children are with the correct people. If with the correct people, you should tell, oh my dear son, your friends are very good children. So they are like my children, invite them to home. I am ready to speak to them. I am with you. It's very much important. Because if the wrong friends are there, due to peer pressure, they might go against us. I'll narrate one incident and come to a conclusion of my bayanis. Ukubay ibn Abi Mu'id. Ukubay ibn Abi Mu'id, he was a kafir. He was a kafir. He had a practice of giving food. He had a practice of giving food, serving food after a journey. So once he distributed food and invited Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came and he wanted Ya Rasulullah, he said, Muhammad, why don't you consume? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet said, I will never ever consume food unless you enter Islam. So he said that, Ashhadu Allah, ilaha illallah, Ashhadu Allah, Rasulullah, okay, I embrace Islam, you consume. So Prophet was really happy, and Prophet consumed the food, Safan al And Prophet left. Now, this incident, his friend came to know. Who is the friend? Ubayy ibn Ka'ab. Ubayy ibn Ka'ab. Ubay ibn Halaq. Ubay ibn Halaq, as he came to know, he rushed and he came. Normally, even these days, we know a drug addict or pornography addict. Suddenly, he comes to the masjid, good companionship. The other guys will say, What will happen? He's going to the masjid. However, we should take him to our track again. They will ever, never leave. This peer pressure is there for those people. In the same manner, Ubay ibn Halaq came and said, What happened? Did you convert? He was really embarrassed. He said that, no, no, I wanted Muhammad to eat, so I just lied and said, I am embracing Islam. He said, no, no, I'm going to, I'm not going to believe this unless otherwise you go and speak to the face of Muhammad. Nowadays we see, go take your father's wallet and come, take the vehicle and come, bring your mother's jewelries. Everything happens. So the same way, peer pressure, this person, he embraced his thumb, but he said, no, no, I didn't. But finally, he went and spat to the face of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa At that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse, وَيَوْمَ يُعَلُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ وَيَوْمَ يَعُبُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَ نِتَّقَدْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا يَا وَيْلَتَا لَيْتَنِي لَمَّا اتَّقِدْ فُلَانَ نَقَلِيلًا لَكَدْ أَضَلَّنِي عَنِ الذِّكْرِ بَعْدَ إِذْ جَاءَنِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَيَوْمَ يَعُبْتُ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ This ظالم, this wrongdoer, this oppressor, on the day of Qiyamah, this Ukubah ibn Amir will start to bite his hand and spit it. 
and it's not only for Okubai Munakabir. Whoever have these wrong friends, for him this sort of punishment will be there on the Yawm al And he will say, Ya laytani ittakhattum ar rasooli sabila Woe be to me, curse me to me, what happened to me? Why I didn't take this Rasool as my friend? Ya waylata laytani lamma attakhid fulana nakhalila Woe be to me, curse me to me, I should have not taken this Ubayy ibn Khalaf as my friend. He is the person who took me astray. I was in the correct path. I listened to him. What happened to me? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in the day of judgment, wrong friendship, in Quran Allah says, Al-Aqillahu yawmaidin ba'adhum li ba'adin adu illa al-muttaqeen. Khalil means friend. Khalilullah. Akhilla is the plural of Khalil. Allah says, Al Akhilla, the friends, Yawma Eidin, on the day of judgment, Ba'adhuhum li Ba'adhin Adu, each and every one will be an enemy for the other. Each and every friend will be an enemy for the other. He will say, Ya Allah, I was a good child, Ya Allah. Maulana son, Ya Allah. Trusty son, Ya Allah. I was a very good guy. He is the person who introduced that girl to me. He is the person who gave the drugs to me. He is the person who made me to see pornography. So each and every one will be against the other. Allah says, Illa al-muttaqeen. Illa al-muttaqeen. But the friendship which was based on the piety taqwa, only other than these friends, all other friendship will be a failure on the day of judgment. So my dear respected brothers and elders, as parents, it's our responsibility also to see with whom my child is. And the youngsters, they also should see who are my friends. On the day of judgment, what is going to happen? A hafiz, a alim, good characters, no, no uh, haram activities or involvement, addiction, wrong addictions. Be friend with them. Be in that company. That will help us. And as parents, we should also look into this thing. So as while living as a community, so my dear respected brothers and elders, it's very much important we discuss within us these sort of things and we have a mechanism to protect our community. In the community of Protect Panna Kuri or Amei Kuri, the Ahmad Kim Rumba Sandosan, Yazakumullah Kaira, invite Pani Nasita Hamendi, 2016, to Wanda Devina, Pakur, Masha Allah, the period development on Allah, Umada Umada Masjid Allah, Umada Arapatri, Pangadariana, Rika Kuri, Sandar Patala, Subahan, Matala Tara, Masha Allah, the period expansion, or the video clips on Masha Allah, Taliban and Pikundi Father, Pala videos. Nidam Mula Muhammad in the Tangana, Masha Allah, it is a lot of activities. Nadapid, Indic Sola Partition, Madrasa, or a project expansion, Masha Allah, more than 250 students. Sela Palaya must be very good. I want a performance, you know, to compare when you park up in a short period. Allah Subhana, who will tell our career development from Allah. Anyway, Ah Mukim in the Otomi of Al Hakarade, Nanga or family of Mola. Orang tua pola ini rende, mungkin kalau ini kita community yang dah korup pada kalau ini kini, illah mari kela, mana thawar galah, marik, marang, manlici, nara udah kama, illah send korut itu macam ni sendal. Rasulullah Alaihi Wasallam mohon jangan asal untuk kami ke orang ramai rodi Allah orang orang ni pergi dah. Orang tu sunnah yang asal ini jangan asal ni ni boleh juga buat. Kita ni, sunnah ni enggak lekik tak, orang orang nallah manusia ni lah. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam memang terminal, mulu gathering apa tu kita mana, yar itu sari inta janazah itu orang halal asal ni mana, asalnya orang tu yang mana, sebenarnya asal orang ni ni security apa tu, mana foreigners benda mana saman kalau ni lah security, ni orang ni security, anda night ni mana tu boleh ni ni, ni orang mana tu, Rasulullah malu terminal mana, janazah apa tu sebenarnya inna ashab tak ya dunno nabi anna kami ahli nafar. وأنا أشهد بأنك من أهل الجنة. أما الطولر قال أمري ورناها وادي أن نجري تقولي لي كلامنا. نان رسول الله صاحب سيرة نية وسورج وادي سورج وادي سورج وادي. آي رم نارو قال لي كي. ورسيلة بوليجر ورسيلة بوليجر لبتشي أنا زيهم. 
இவன் அப்படித்தான் அவன் இப்படித்தான் இவன் உஜவான மோன செய்ய உஜவான் ஆயிரம் நலவுகள் இருக்குது நலவை பாருங்க ரசூல்களுக்கு என்ன காட்டினாங்க ஆயிரம் கெடுதிகள் இருக்குது கிண்டி 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 ஒரு நலவை எடுத்து இந்த நலவுக்காகவே நீ அவனை வச்சு கொள்ளும் இந்த நலவுக்காக எவ்வளவு நலவுகள் மக்கள் கிட்டிருக்கு நலவை பார்ப்போம் கெடுதி மறைப்போம் மறந்துடுவோம் மன்னிப்போம் இது இருக்குது அத்தர் அத்தரை பூசினா வாசம் அறி வாயில வச்சா கசம் தூக்கி தூக்கி வீசு இல்ல வாப்பா நல்லவா பாருங்க சாப்பிட வச்சு தேன் இருக்குது நாக்குல வச்சா மாஷா மாவை இனிப்பு அறிவு பூசினா எருந்துதான் வந்து கிடைக்கும் இந்த தேனை வீசி போடுங்க இல்ல அந்த தேன் தூக்கி வச்சுக்கோங்க சிப்பா அறிவு எனவே நலவுகளை பாருங்க கெடுதிகளை மறைங்க மறந்த கம்யூனிட்டி என்று சென்றா எல்லா வகையான ஆக்கள் எனவே அதுக்காக வேண்டி தவறுகளை செய்யறதுக்கு என்கரேஜ் பண்றது என்று இல்ல தவறுகள் நடக்கும் எனவே அது நாங்க போகோ சேர்ந்து போகணும் சேர்ந்து போ நாங்க சண்டை பிடிச்சு கொண்டு விலை உண்டாக கொண்டு என்னதான் அடைய போறோம் நல்லா வச்சுக்கோங்க ஞாபகத்துல பிரச்சனைகள் இருக்கும் ஆயிரம் பிரச்சனை இருக்கு ஆனா பொறுமையோட ஒத்துமையை பாதுகாத்து போங்க எப்ப பிரிஞ்சிடுவீங்களோ லட்சக்கணக்கான பிரச்சனை ஆயிரம் பிரச்சனைக்காக வேண்டி பிரிய போ பிரச்சனை ஆயிரம் பிரச்சனையா பொறுமையோடு போகணும் ஏன் தெரிஞ்சிட்டீங்கன்னா ஒரு லட்சம் பிரச்சனை வந்து அல்லாவுடைய உதவி எங்களுக்கு இருக்கு மசால பெரிய ஒரு டெவலப்மெண்ட் இந்த குறுகிய கால அதுவும் கோவிட்டுக்குள்ள மசால் தான் இவ்வளவு பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் தங்கள் ஹசனாவும் குடிச்சிட்டு ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு லெவல் அல்லாஹ் நாங்க இதை விட இன்ஷால் அல்லா மண்மடங்கு தருவான் ஒற்றுமையாக நாங்க இருந்தா இந்த எந்தெந்த விஷயங்களை பேசணும் கிளாஸோட அவனுஷேக்குடைய பாக்கெட் அல்ல தருவானா Allah Allah Allah